In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the five additional settings that come pre-built into Contact Form 7, how to use them. These include turning test mode on for your form and acceptance box validation and three more. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and you want to learn more about it, you want to learn WordPress tips and tricks and all the cool stuff you can do with it, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a killer discount with InMotion Hosting up to 57% off their plans. Not every plan has a big of a discount, but every plan is discounted. So if you're looking for new hosting for yourself or for a client, check out the description down below. There's a link there. I'll tell you all about how to cash in on that discount. With that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start doing some WordPress. The default Contact Form 7 plugin has five additional settings that are all found on this page. To find out where you put those and to get a link to this page, the link's in the description. There's also a link in your WordPress dashboard. If you go to Contact, and click on contact to load all your contact forms and open any one of them. I'm just gonna open this basic form right here by clicking on edit. You can click on the title of the form as well. Every form has an additional settings tab with blank box and a link right here. This link takes you to this page where you have the default additional settings. Really quickly, for the subscribers only mode, if you have this piece of, or this line of code inside this box, it only allows subscribers to fill out the form. If you have demo mode on, it doesn't actually send the email. It just displays a success message. If you have acceptances validation in that additional settings box, this will display an error message when the validation box is not accepted. I'll show you more about that in just a second. The Flamingo settings, Flamingo is an additional plugin that's created also by the creator of Contact Form 7. It allows you to store Contact Form 7 entries in the database and display them in your dashboard. If you want to know more about that plugin, I have linked to a tutorial on the card that just popped up. But if you add this piece of code to any particular form, it will not store that form's entries in the database using Flamingo. These two down here were very commonly used to send people to a thank you page after they submitted the form. These, as shown down here, are now deprecated, meaning they're scheduled to be removed. In fact, they've been scheduled to be removed at the end of 2017. As of this recording in early 2018, these still work. If you haven't updated your plugin, these will still work. If you are continually updating your plugin, there's gonna come a time where these don't work anymore. But if you still wanna redirect people to a thank you page, check out the tutorial that just popped up in that card. I'll show you how to do it with JavaScript inside your functions file, which is much more future-proof because this is going away very soon. So if we want to take any one of these, let's take this validation one because I have a validation box in my form. Just copy this piece of code, go to my additional settings for my form, paste it in here. Before I save this, I want to show you what the default functionality for the acceptance box looks like. If you don't have an acceptance box, but you want one, this is what it looks like down here. There's a little checkbox where they have to click that box before they can click the send button. If you want to know how to do that, a card just popped up with a tutorial that will walk you through adding the acceptance box. But for the default functionality, if we fill out this form and not check the box, we can't click the send button. Then if we check the box, we can click send. In addition to not being able to click the send button, we saw we had no kind of messages as to why we couldn't click, which may confuse people on your site. So if we take this acceptance as validation code and paste it in here, then save the form and then come back out here Refresh the form, fill it out again with some dummy data. Not check the box, then click on send. We see it's processing and we get an error message. You must accept the terms and conditions before sending your message. So check that box. As you recall, that error was not there before. There's that error and there's actually one down here as well. Check that box, click on send and now it'll go through because it's validated that that box is checked and now it's all working fine. So that's a pretty useful additional setting. Demo mode on, I'm not entirely sure what you would need this for. I guess if you're building forms and you have live email addresses in them, because if you have, say you're building a form for a client and you have their email addresses in here already, you don't want to have it sending emails while you're testing. 
But when I usually test, I put my own email address in here for testing just so I see the messages come through properly. So I'm not entirely sure of, of how useful demo mode is. Subscriber only, true. If we copy that one and we paste it into additional settings, just delete that one, paste in subscriber only, save it, refresh the form again. Now we fill it out with dummy data again and I'm signed in, as you see the bar up here, howdy Bjorn, I'm signed in. If I click on send, it will send this as we expect it to. Now if I copy this URL and I open incognito mode, and then try to send it, it should not send because I'm not signed in through the incognito. And in fact, it doesn't even show the form. This contact form is available only for logged in users. So that's the message you get when you have, if I can get back there, when you have the subscribers only true in the additional settings. And then Flamingo, I don't have that installed right now, but watch that tutorial I referenced earlier. It's up in the card again, in case you wanna see it. But if you put this in the additional settings, then the form submissions will not be stored in the database for that form. And keep in mind, this is on a per form basis. Any additional settings you put into a single form don't apply to all the rest. So if you want something to apply to all your forms using these additional settings, you need to put the code into all of the additional settings boxes for all your forms. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off or more than half off for some plans hosting offer in the description down below or on the card that popped up. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.